Welcome to week five. I'm Sherry Levin, your financial accounting professor. Congratulations on completing quiz one and the first major project which assessed your financial accounting knowledge and competencies using computerized financial accounting software. Please review week five deliverables in your syllabus. You will note there is a required discussion this week. As a reminder, the goal of discussions is to discuss the questions with your classmate. Posting a response to the discussion question is the first step. Discussing what you posted with your classmates and what they posted as a response is as important, if not more important, than the first step. Moving on, project two is a group project, but not in the traditional sense of a group project. I assigned you to a group at the beginning of the semester. I encourage you to discuss the specifics of the case study with members of your study group. After discussing the case with your group and hearing alternative approaches to solving the case, you will use your critical thinking skills to decide on the best approach. Then you will write and submit your individual report that is completely unique from reports submitted by your group and other classmates. If you've already begun working on Project 2, the milestone is due at the end of this week. To maximize your potential of earning a high grade, be sure to review the Project 2 rubric before writing your report. Please note that all student papers will be automatically submitted to Turnitin.com. You will receive a copy of the similarity report and have an opportunity to make corrections before the due date. This week, we will study two main topics, fixed assets or property plant equipment and intangible assets. For fixed assets, we will learn how to account for the purchase, capitalization of interest cost, depreciation, retirement, and sale of property plant and equipment. We will also learn how to account for intangible assets, including goodwill. There are various categories for intangible assets, as you can see on the slide. Some are market related, such as logos and trademarks. Others are artistic related, such as movies and pictures, contract related, such as franchise agreements, technology based, such as patented innovations, software, trademarks, and some are goodwill or relationship based. I look forward to seeing you in class this week. Take care.